AI ethics isn't about imaginary sci-fi scenarios like killer robots. It's about recognizing real present dangers of generative AI. Now, there's a lot of good stuff that could come from generative AI, from ways to diagnose cancers, to discover new drugs, to find solutions for climate change. But it's easy to forget amidst all this potentially good news about the many potential harms of this new technology. The IMPACT RISK acronym offers a mnemonic so you or your students can help take these various harms into account. My name is John Apolito, and I'm going to go through these one at a time. I is for InfoWar, AI-powered information that threatens to undermine democracy. That includes deep fakes of high-profile figures like President Biden, here heard in a faked robocall as part of the 2024 presidential primaries. Voting this Tuesday only enables the Republicans. It also quest. includes personalized attacks on local figures, like this faked audio from a high school principal in Maryland. You know, I, I seriously don't understand why I have to constantly put up with these dumbasses here every day. The ease of generating customized code and text has also made cyber attacks cheaper and faster to deploy, whether that means writing custom malware or writing spear phishing emails. M is for monopoly. This one flies under the radar of a lot of people's mind when they think about AI harms. But a handful of Silicon Valley titans occupy the generative AI market, with Google vying for dominance against the OpenAI Microsoft partnership, Meta prevailing when it comes to open source models. This concentration of power is even more evident in the AI chip market, where NVIDIA's dominance leaves competitors scrambling for crumbs. The massive amount of computation required to compete in this market has led to brittle monopolies that can stifle entrepreneurship and innovation. P is for plagiarism and privacy. Artists, musicians, and authors are suing AI companies for training their models on copyrighted works, sometimes turning out knockoffs that resemble their own work. On the privacy front, facial recognition software can trawl the internet for your face, and teens in middle school can create deepfake nudes of their classmates, turning privacy into a relic of the past. A is for automated labor. While few jobs may be completely replaced by robots, companies looking to cut costs can maintain productivity by relying on senior employees armed with AI. That means fewer openings for junior lawyers and copywriters and fewer freelance opportunities for designers and composers. Meanwhile, high-stakes decisions, whether on Wall Street or on the battlefield, are being outsourced to algorithms. Without sufficient human oversight, sudden shifts in job markets due to automation could destabilize economies faster than they can adapt. C is for climate impact. By 2027, the AI sector could eat as much energy per year as the Netherlands. Protesters from Oregon to Uruguay are targeting data centers that suck up drinking water from local reservoirs. Feverish to win the race to roll out ever bigger generative AI models, Microsoft and Google have fallen well behind in their carbon reduction goals, accelerating the threat of climate change. T is for tainted data. The ghosts of human bias haunt our AI systems. Resume screeners discriminate against women and non-white applicants. Facial recognition systems struggle with darker skin tones, potentially resulting in a self-driving car failing to identify a black pedestrian. Even tools meant to identify AI-generated essays can incorrectly flag non-native English speakers. These aren't just glitches, they're mirrors reflecting society's inequities. Now let's do risk, starting with R, reality distortion. AI's outputs are often disconnected from reality with potentially dangerous consequences. Bing's Sydney chatbot told a New York Times reporter to leave his wife for her, while ChatGPT accused a law professor of sexual harassment. Unscrupulous users can now generate low-quality news articles, several per minute, that could be hard to distinguish from human-written posts. These confident-sounding fabrications, or hallucinations as they're sometimes misleadingly called, don't have to be deliberate disinformation to cause harm. That makes them different from InfoWar. Persistent exposure to AI-generated distortions may erode trust in authentic sources of information over time, or simply bury them in a mountain of digital debris. I is for injustice. 
While Silicon Valley reaps the rewards of AI, the human cost is often hidden. Kenyans making a dollar an hour are suffering emotional trauma while flagging detailed descriptions of murder, rape, and child sex abuse generated by chatbots. Meanwhile, in the Congo, children as young as seven are mining cobalt for our AI-powered devices. In government, powerful AI companies might influence regulations in their favor, perpetuating inequality in the market. In education, the subscription costs of better large language models raise concerns about a new digital divide. S is for stereotyping. Generative AI often devolves to cliches when answering questions. Ask an image generator for a doctor, you're likely to get a middle-aged white guy in a lab coat. Request an African village, and it might depict mud huts and sunsets. These outputs aren't simply the result of tainted data described earlier. They operate at a deeper level, reflecting the probabilistic nature of large language models, which return the average result from a prompt. Nevertheless, by surfacing stereotypes rather than outliers, AI might favor dominant cultures and languages, leading to the erosion of cultural diversity. Finally, K is for knockoff experiences. In classrooms across the world, teachers grapple with AI-generated homework as students outsource their learning to chatbots. In the music world, services like Suno allow everyone to create songs without touching an instrument, potentially flooding streaming platforms with AI-generated tunes. These shortcuts threaten to replace genuine skill development and creative expression with shallow imitations that undermine personal growth. Beyond the individual, human relationships may devolve as AI generates thank you notes and adults turn to AI partners for companionship instead of their flesh and blood peers. By keeping the impact risk framework in mind, we can navigate the AI revolution more thoughtfully, examining whether AI can be a force for progress rather than just a Pandora's box of unintended consequences.